It's the best end. <laughs> exactly. Oh boy. <laughs> See ya! We made it! We made it! Uh -huh, our first time! Give me a kiss. If a bird flies over and drops on us, it's um, like magical luck. Come on, birdie! Okay. Stop! Sorry. <laughs> You're such a four year old. Go away. <laughs> Get down. Why are you bringing the cat to the dog? I'm not bringing the cat well, to the dog. Well, you walked into the room with the cat. Well, I wanted to have a party in your mom's backyard because it's so pretty in the backyard. Like a casual, fun pool party. Have you ever seen like a slip and slide? For women? <laughs> <laughs> Adult women, exactly. All you gotta do is get that midline on. It'll prevent me from running into the glass. Okay, get the midline on and we're good. Yeah, Archie's like, give, give me out. Come on, Archie. That's a good boy. Come on. That's a good boy. Okay, so we're gonna cook dinner? Yeah, I'll start the queue. See, that looks like it hasn't been used for a while. It's used all the time. I'm gonna make a dressing. It's perfect, I'll clean it up. John and I rarely have dinner at his house because I have all the stuff. Sweetie? Yeah. Where's the olive oil? I'll show you. It's a bit of a mishmash in here. As far as John cooking for me, I think he's done it one time. Oh, okay, I, what did I do? <laughs> did I break this? Sweet. It should be a little higher. <laughs> It'll be all right. John and I have spoken about when the kids go out of school living together, but we haven't talked about any detail. Oh my God. John, I don't know, am I opening the refrigerator the wrong way? Why don't you just open it more softly? I mean, do I have hope for spending the rest of my life with John? Absolutely. But I know that we have work to do and we have kids that are still living at home. So I'm not in any rush. What did you think about the other night when Lisa and Sophie were talking about the future? Do you talk about getting married to each other? I was thinking definitely after, after we both graduate. I mean, I just don't want her to, Sophie to get hurt. It doesn't appear that she's going to. He seems to love Sophie a lot. Some people rush into things and I choose to take my time. There were red flags with David and I didn't pay attention to that. So I need to know that the relationship is right and that we're gonna make it and be happy. Has this been a little bit relaxing? I mean, it is, but then I think of all the things I have to do. What's going on with the Amazon thing? Do they have all the information? They have all the information. We need to keep moving forward on the new supplements. All the to-do lists. I mean, I'm gonna meet with Steve tomorrow and we're gonna talk about all the different projects that we have going on and it's, it's insane. I actually get stressed out listening to everything going on in your world. Next year, I have three kids going to school. That's a huge deal for me. I understand. There are so many balls in the air for me, and I can't really ignore any of them. And I think that sometimes that frustrates John. I just want to make sure that you have <laughs> periods of time where you can turn your mind off of everything you have to get done for us to have fun, so. Well, w w do we not still have fun? We do, of course we do, we but do. I, I, but I, <laughs> Yeah, but you're, you're, you've got your mind spinning all the time. Okay, steak. <clears throat> Hi. Hi, welcome. How can I help you today? Hi. I have an appointment with me and two of my friends. Okay, let me walk you in. Okay. All right. Hi. Hi. Hello. Hi. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Good. How was Montana? Heather had to shovel s. <laughs> but she did say that she has appreciation for people that have to do that or something like that. It's good to do stuff like that to remind you how hard everyone works. We all have our place in the world, and that is no small feat. Well, that sounds very condescending. <laughs> I'm meeting some 
friends. I mean, saying that you now have respect for people that do manual labor, but you're in your 50s and you just had like an aha moment in Montana. Hi. It's mind boggling to me. Hi, how are Hi, you? Hi, friend. Hi. How are you? I, my back. You look still? so pretty. Hi. Your back still oh, messed up? Oh, I haven't been able to do anything. How'd you get hurt? Shoveling sh Did you enjoy shoveling sh Yeah, it was great. It Does was anyone have minute? another trip? That's right. But then also, you know what else I realized I did? I split wood. Oh, you split wood? Yeah, that was good. Oh, I didn't I hear about that. that. Yeah, well, cause you were like cooking elk or something. Would you like some champagne? I would, yeah. yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Um, we missed you. Well, it's nice to be missed. I mean, it sucks not being there, but you know, what, what are you gonna do? Thank you. Hi, how are you? I actually just want a regular pedicure, but extra massage. Yeah. Okay, so how was Taylor on the trip? I don't know Taylor very well. Did she have fun? Uh, ask Heather. How was Taylor on the trip? She was great. <laughs> was she? You were really close. Are you? Yeah, best. Yes. Like that. No, she just did something really shitty. She said that I was condescending yeah. and that I think I'm better than the role. Yeah. And she did tell me, I will tell you, she did tell me. Yes. This is not a bullshit movie. It felt very dismissive, like, oh, you're cute, like I would never be in a movie with you. Yeah. You can be a little hurtful sometimes in things that you say. Right, now, but hold on a second. I want to respond to that, because that wasn't very nice. What wasn't nice? You're assuming that she is in the right and I am in the wrong. I was in the middle of packing two children for college and I took time out of my day to go over there and it was great. That kind of sounds condescending. It, yeah, it does. And when you talk about your life and you talk about the things that you have going on, it comes across like you're better than everyone else and that your life is more important. That's not how I mean it. But maybe you're not self-aware of how you sound sometimes. I, that's my point. Okay. I agree.